In the first video, we discussed how to run a Hull cell. In this second series of videos, we'll review the interpretation of the results of a variety of plating baths. But first, let's quickly review what a Hull cell is. Patented in 1939 by R.O. Hull, the Hull cell is one of the most useful qualitative test processes available to the metal finisher. It consists of a trapezoidal box, which contains an anode of the material to be processed, a Hull cell panel, which is inserted against the sloping side of the trapezoid, and a standard 267 milliliter Hull cell is most commonly used. A completed Hull cell panel shows the range of deposit across a wide range of current densities. The completed Hull cell panel provides data on three parameters. The effect of addition agents, the effect of impurities present in the bath, the effects of purification on the bath. Here's the equipment needed to interpret a Hull cell panel. After the Hull cell panel is plated in the Hull cell, the completed Hull cell panel and a Hull cell ruler are required to analyze the Hull cell panel and correspondingly, the test plating solution. It's always important to retain a Hull cell reference panel for comparative purposes. The reference panel should be obtained when the bath is operating at its full potential and in a stable condition. The reference panel will be used as a standard to compare the test panel. In addition, an analysis of the plating solution by wet chemical methods is desirable. If the analysis shows an imbalance in the plating salts, it's a good practice to stabilize the plating salts and run additional Hull cell analysis prior to making any addition of chemical additives. Hull cell evaluation. Simply put, the Hull cell ruler is laid on top of the completed Hull cell panel. The grid of the Hull cell ruler provides a reference to evaluate the plating across a range of current densities. The high current density is located on the left side of the panel, closest to the anode, while the low current density is located on the right side, furthest away from the anode. The range of current density flows from left to right. In the next videos, we will review the analysis of Hull cells on zinc and nickel plating baths. For additional information or to arrange for a technical consultation, please contact Asterion at 1-800-428-0719 or complete the information requested on the link below. The information contained in this video is intended to provide guidance and is for illustrative purposes only. It's not intended as a comprehensive discussion of whole cell plating or interpretation, nor is it intended to substitute for the recommendations of a trained metal finishing professional.